Okay, YouTube, this is Dr. Sol again. So I have moved the PV from the inverter into the charge controller. And you could see the production you're seeing here. I could never see that from that charge controller before. So right now, I have 1,000 watts coming in. And I'm sure in, on this one, about should be about 1,600, 1,700. So I have about 2,600 to confirm. Um, so we'll see in a second. So as you can see, I'm discharging the batteries by about 171 watts, 184, depending on what the cloud does. But let me show you how much I'm pulling out right now. So I have two ACs on. And let me get there. Oh, just saw that a second ago. So we're pulling 2,523 watts out of our system. And as you saw, woo, this is a negative 1,076 kilowatts right now. So we just had a cloud and um, the, the PV is not producing anywhere. We're pulling 1,800 watts out of the batteries right now. And if we look here, that would confirm it to us. Remember before we had 900? is now down to 300 and change, and I'm sure this is about 600 or 700. So let me go out and show you the AC. I have the, fan, the two refrigerators, this one and this one. I have the, what do you call it outside, the freezer. And then I have this fan. I'll go outside and I'll show you what else I have running. <laughs> My restoration project. You could see uh, water dripping from the AC. Let me see if I can zoom in. See? Okay. So this AC is on. <laughs> and YouTube, you can hear this one, my window unit for the office. You can hear it, it's pretty loud compared to the other one. And you see water dripping. Let me, let me get close to see water. You see water coming out of it? See water coming out? It. Okay, so let me go back inside where it's air conditioned and I explain to you why I love the LG. So back to my discussion about why I like this LG AC. One, I can go into the modes and based on the selection I make will reduce my energy consumption. So earlier when I showed you my consumption was about 2,300, 2,400 watts. It's now down to 1,564. And that's mostly that AC in the office. The LG allows me to go in, so I'll check the room temperature. Sorry, let me see if I get better lighting. The room temperature is now 26 degrees, um, 26 degrees Celsius. And I go into this mode here, this mode. And let me see if I can change it so you can see what I'm talking about. Bear with me. I'm me trying to figure this out for you. Okay, here we go. This is better. I'm standing up. So we go into this mode here. So here, here, and here. Now it will do maximum cooling and you keep running till it goes below 25 degrees. Um, and my consumption could be anywhere from 300, 400 watts all the way to 700 watts. And then I select on the same button mode and I push to A1 and then I select number 2 and what number 2 will be it will maintain slightly lower than room temperature and at that slightly lower than room temperature the compressor goes off the compressor comes on and the um, inverter is called um, artificial intelligence mode what I just selected and the inverter will determine if it wants um, the sorry the inverter AC will pick how much power I need to run that so as you can see I went from 1600 to bear with me to 1800 so that's just a measly 200 watt increase just because of that little setting change I did so I'm still shy of the numbers I was pulling at peak when I had it running to keep the, just continue driving the room temperature down. So I want to do a shout out to Bobby, Bobby Solar Homestead. 
Bobby and I spoke about the active balancer. We actually spoke to each other on the phone for over an hour. Very passionate young man. I wish him success and I wish him luck. And I'm going to buy his balancer. The balancer that he's using, I'll purchase it. I'll do a video and let you know how that works out. Once again, this is Dr. Sola. Let me see if I can show you Bobby's. I'll put a link to his page. This is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please pose it below. If you have yet to subscribe, please click subscribe. Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Sola. As you can see, I have some numbers here and they look like Greek. Um, the three, well there's a fourth one circled, but the three circled uh, below are zero, zero, and zero. So that represents three bad cells. Let me back up so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I got my forklift batteries and as you know with forklift batteries are made up of individual cells so there are 24 of them we've tested them as you can see this we've tested them and three are definitely very bad and we have one or we have two or three that are a little on the low side which I'm sure we can bring back and what we're going to do is we're going to remove all the bus bars we're going to try and clean them if it's possible we'll lift out the bad ones if we can then what we'll do is we'll jump to the good one, good, good, uh, the good batteries. I will run this 21 times two and a half volts, which will give us a maximum of 52 and a minimum of two times 42. So we'll run our batteries from 42 volts all the way to 50 volts, and that should give us the capacity we need. So it's 750 amp hours, which is a lot of batteries. If we have capacity, we'll not get any sag, and I can run my ACs. So I'm pretty psyched, and I can't wait to show you guys this running on my system. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.